All right, in this video, I will be reviewing the Grinch scene, uh, Christmas inflatable. It is from, it sold under the Dr. Seuss brand. We got this it, from Home Depot in the year 2022. You can check out the back. It is indeed a Jimmy product. So um, this is what the box looks like. And here are the stakes and um, tethers it comes with. As usual, not a huge fan of these small metal stakes, especially for an inflatable this size. I don't think they work that well, but there's not much we can do about it. So it comes with four tethers and six uh, of these metal stakes. So four for the tethers and two are most likely for the ground stakes. So um, four tethers, two ground stakes. That's pretty typical for inflatable this size. That's typical what they come with. The smaller ones only come with two tethers and two ground stakes. That's pretty typical. Check out the motor here. It is a, a black motor that does not sit on the ground. It's a pretty good size motor too. Look at that, it's pretty big for this size motor, inflatable. Gonna plug it in. Just something I thought was interesting that um, it used to be, see the power adapters? They used to come separate. They were not already plugged into the cord and you had to like connect them. Not that it matters, but I just, it's just something I noticed that they seem to be coming connected already these days, which just saves you a little bit of time. It blew pretty fast too. Is this guy six feet tall or six and a half? Six feet tall. It, that blew pretty fast actually. Wow. That's yeah, right. I mean, he's not. It's not as big. If you saw my snowman video I did earlier, he's not. He's not as wide as that snowman is, or as tall. That's probably why it blew pretty. Plus, I think this motor is actually bigger than that snowman inflatable. Even though, even though the snowman is much bigger than this guy is, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the Dr. Seuss company is like, no, we, 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 you know, we want that big motor. Don't, don't skip on the motor. And it really works, it flew fast. In any case, um, here's the inflatable. It looks really nice. I mean, you can definitely tell it's the Grinch. It's the old school Grinch, you know, from like um, the cartoon made in the, what was it, 70s, I think, maybe 80s. He's definitely from that. I think 70s, yeah. And there's his dog, Max. Definitely tell it's Max. And of course, Max has a Santa cap on too. They both have Santa caps on, it's cute. I mean, this is one of those, this is one of those cases where I can't say, oh, they just threw a Santa cap on there just to show that the Christmas inflatable. I'm pretty sure in the cartoon, I, th I think they both were um, a Santa cap. Definitely the Grinch did because he's pretending to be Santa Claus, but I'm pretty sure his dog wore a Santa cap too. I could be wrong about that though. No, I think the dog was wearing um, deer antlers actually because he was supposed to be the reindeer <laughs> from what I recall. Anyways, getting sidetracked there. Let's see if I can push a little bit here. Um, yeah, he's not setting up that great. Now, granted, like I always say, it's going to be different once you stake them down properly. That'll definitely be different, but I, I, I'm pretty sure you're going to need to give them something else for them to stand up straight. Uh, if you watch our tips videos about how to get your inflatable stand up straight, we recommend, or at least what works for us anyways, you just get some garden stakes and typically just one, you only need one. You put it like right in, right in the loop here where the tethers would go. And that usually does a really great job of having them stand up straight once you have to plug them in. Sometimes it might require one for each loop. I don't think this guy would require two, but possibility. In any case, that's what it looks like. Just gonna turn the lights off. See what it looks like in the dark. How many lights? It looks like it's three lights. Max has one by his head, that's typical. The Grinch also has one in his head, that's also typical. But he also has one down there by his feet, so I think it's gonna be good. Three and two, oh yeah, it looks great. I mean, if you watch my other videos, you, you'll notice I usually say they, they typically don't do a good job of lighting, out, of lighting up the bottom, the bottom of the character. Like, like Max, for example, you could, I mean, you can still see him, but his head is really well lit and his body's kind of like, eh. You know what I mean? The Grinch that looks great. His head really lit up really well and his whole body and legs look really great. I mean, his arms aren't really that lit up, but at the same time, there's not much they can do about it because the light bulb is, the button light bulb falls one in his head. So, I mean, how the light get into his arm, you have to put a light, a light bulb at each arm, really, and that's just kind of silly. I mean, it's just not really worth it to light his arms. It's not that big a deal if his arms don't light up. You can definitely tell that's the Grinch, and that's his dog, Max, without his arms lighting up better. But it looks really great. Um, it looks really great in the dark. It looks awesome. I do like, I just noticed that. Max is also wearing a, a scarf. This type of scarf, like I say, is like, it's not built into the inflatable itself, not that material. It's actual something else, a piece of, uh, you know, fabric, whatever it is, that they wrap around the inflatable afterwards. And this one in particular is not really a, 
it's all there's one back here the little stitch back here that keeps it together so yeah these types of scarves um sometimes they tend to come apart and rip apart and fly away uh, so something you want to keep an eye on make sure it doesn't happen what we do sometimes we use a safety pin to kind of connect it to the inflatable and the safety pin, I know people might be worried about putting holes in inflatable, but a, a safety pin hole is not going to affect your inflatable at all. I guarantee you your inflatable, even brand new inflatables, probably have little holes in them somewhere. I think I could feel one, you can't, probably can't see, I could feel one on his nose here. There's definitely a hole in his nose where air's coming out. And that, that's not gonna affect it at all. A little tiny hole like that is not gonna be a problem for a safety pin, but so you safety pin like maybe up here, maybe hide, hide the safety pin a little bit behind his nose so you know it's not that noticeable. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna keep in mind, put your lights back on. And I just noticed that it's kind of nice that his sweater or his shirt, like sweater, had like white polka dots on it. It's kind of nice because, oh, the dog has yellow. I thought it was like a white polka dot also. I think it's supposed to be like, I think it's supposed to be like the, the, the reindeer harness. Like I was saying earlier, the cartoon Max was wearing reindeers. It looks like this would be like a reindeer harness where it had like a little bells on it. That's supposed to be like bells maybe. Or maybe that's just what they decided to do for uh, the yellow polka dots on it. I'm not exactly sure, but in any case, it looks great though. This is a really great inflatable. I highly recommend it. It looks it looks one of the better Grinch ones we've seen, definitely for sure. Go ahead and check out electricity usage before you wrap this up. 17.4. That's not bad for this size motor. That's a good size motor and three light bulbs. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. But um, yeah, he, and he filled up pretty nicely. Oh yeah, he had plenty of air in him. His arms are great. Max, Max is great, yeah. This is definitely a, a good inflatable. Um, yeah, it looks great, it looks great you know, in the light, it looks great in the dark. They lit up well. It might need a little bit, it probably, I'm almost positive, it will need some help setting it up in moderate winds. Eh, it probably will need help setting it up in moderate winds, but um, that's the only flaw, and then that, that some inflatables just that just happens. It's not that much of a problem. But um, in any case, yeah, that's all I gotta say about this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching.